Hey guys, it's Phil. So this is, if you jumped from my developer preview preview to this, hi, you should go back and watch the end of that after this is done. But this is how to install the new Google Search and Google Now apps to your Android phone. So I'm going to preface this by saying they're broken on some phones. Don't count on them working on your device. That's that's not something I like saying because yes, everyone should have every feature that they can possibly hope for if their device can physically run it. But I've tried this, so I have it running perfectly fine because it's a stock launcher and stock versions of the apps on my Nexus 5 running the developer preview, which you saw in the video and jumped here. Then there's also the um, Droid Life posted up some APKs and I have them linked down below in the description of this video as well as the last one. So down below, it will be the Google Search and the Google Now in that order APK downloads from my Google Drive. So go ahead and if you so desire, go download those. If not, and you want them to not be broken on your phone, because Google Now Launcher is not the broken part. Google Search is broken. And I will I will show you this because, so everybody remembers my Galaxy S3 on Sprint that um, I updated to KitKat a while ago. This, this is a common occurrence. Let's say, okay. Wait, a boo, yeah. So it's constantly stopping. Google search is broken, but we will try doing a cache wipe. So first off, that is, you have maybe seen this on my other video, but let's show you what it's supposed to look like on the Nexus 5 running the L preview. So ignore the notification. I have a Hangouts message from a friend. So the um, you see the new white icon, the white stat, the white search bar, and then as you can see the nifty new wallpaper. You have a new Google search panel, and then the settings are now accessible from the side rather than scrolling all the way down and hitting the three dots. And then as watch as the app drawer opens, all of them are stored within the app drawer icon. And then it only gives you as many pages as you have apps, which is obvious and nice. So this one, I don't have that many installed on just the core Google stuff, because that's what I live on. I love Google services. I've got a Chromebook sitting to my left charging. And then as you can see, Google Nexus, I'm going to upload this to YouTube from my Galaxy camera running Android, regardless. So that's what it's supposed to look like. And then to prove it works, okay, Google, there we go. And then as you saw, it goes from a microphone to a nifty little Google icon. That's very, very stylish. And I very much so like this new material design because this is a material update for Android's Google Now launcher. So it's installed on three phones and it's currently installing on a fourth right now that I'll show you. So the Galaxy S3, which you've already just seen, it's got all the garbage touch whiz on it. So it was forced closing. So it may or may not go away. That's the thing. We're going to do a cache wipe on one that refuses to load, which is my OnePlus One, which is interesting because it has KitKat on it. So this one, because I have all the Google apps installed, it has them, that's weird, that translates in there. Regardless, um, so it's got that, it's got the pages. I have a lot of apps on this phone because I love this phone. So as you can see, it has a new material logo. It's very, It's very subtle but it's very, very classy. I like it a lot. But as you can see, I just chose it again and it stopped. Okay, so I'm gonna hit home again and select this as my default launcher forever, just to uh, make it go away. And ignore you, go to sleep. Next, we're going to move to a slightly older phone. This is the uh, Galaxy Nexus, as you can see. Nobody has probably seen this one for a while. Uh, this is the white version, and it has Shiny ROM running on it. Shiny ROM is a stock-ish build. It's almost everything stock. It's KitKat. It's built specifically for the Maguro, which is the uh, international GSM, and then the Toro, which is the Verizon one, not the Toro Plus, the Sprint one, which I have sitting to my right, um, downloading some apps right now that I will show you whether or not it works on non-KitKat, because I'm curious of whether or not it does. So as you can see, this is, I custom built this launcher, but the uh, Google search widget, there we go, focus, focus, it goes white instead of the clear gray that it used to be. So let's go into settings, choose home, 
choose the Google Now Launcher, which came default on this phone. So let's go home. Okay, so as you can see, let's turn Wi-Fi on actually for this. The icon is grayed out. I don't know if it will come, there we go. It's not, it doesn't have the always listening function turned on, even though I have it set up. But, um, so this one, normal, normal, no internet connection, so let's refresh. Okay, so all the cards are really done really nicely, and then if you can see that, they redid the uh, mountain scene, and it's very pretty. Google's aesthetic designers are geniuses. So you notice the whited out icon. So into voice, audio history is turned on, OK Google detection. OK, OK Google. Actually, this is new. This is a new screen. So listening. OK, Google. Okay, that's a different phone. Regardless, there may be some issues depending on the device and depending on the software you have on it. So it may or may not work, and it may or may not force close. This force closed twice, and then I just um, I went into multitasking, long pressed on it, went into app info, and then force stopped it the second time, and it fixed it. So. I don't know what the deal is, but it's currently broken across multiple devices for me. So it may be just me, but that exists and is a warning I would like to pass off to you guys. So next, the uh, this is my Galaxy Nexus on Sprint. Toro Plus ignored by everyone except most developers that want to build custom, customized versions of KitKat. So this is for the Google search one. This is if you download the APK from my drive down below, link number one, uh, it will ask you for these updated permissions when it installs. And then, and then hello, you can see me in, in the reflection because it's a dark screen. So the um, this is a new update for everyone that isn't running the developer preview and I'm not sure if Droid Life pulled it from the developer preview or not, but I'm going to put an annotation here to let you know whether it was in fact pulled from the preview or if it is just an app. So we're not going to open that yet. We're going to install Google Now Launcher from my drive and then it has to download because I put these up there so I could put them on all of my things. And then if it works on anything under KitKat, because that installed, so I'm assuming it will work because the Google Now Launcher will install on anything with 4.1 and above, meaning you can get it if you still have it and know the reference all the way back on your Nexus S because it got abandoned at 4.1.2 and my right desk drawer. Uh, yeah, I've got one of those sitting in there, so that'll get the update if it doesn't break completely. So it's a, a sizable update, the Google search update. It's 30, I want to say it's over 30 megabytes because the Google search app includes both, um, I'll retry, <sighs> Wi-Fi, you're garbage. But um, moving on, I'll come back to that in just a second when it decides to reconnect to data. There we go, in just a second, literally. So back on Wi-Fi, let's retry. Preparing to open. Thank you for preparing so very, very much. We'll set you back there, and I will check back on you in a second. So it's downloading all the... Th I'll update you through Twitter on whether or not it works. So this is my OnePlus One. You've seen my how to root it, how to install a custom recovery, and how to unlock the bootloader. So this one I'm having the issue of Google search force closing all the time and it blocks me from the settings by doing that. So as you can see, I have Google Now Launcher selected, so let's go home. And as you can see, unfortunately, Google search has stopped, and then I recommend sending a report the first time just to let them know it's broken. So watch the uh, microphone. It'll turn back gray, and then it'll crash. The voice search is, I think, what's going to mess this update up. And then don't, don't take any of the material design icons for Ooh, they have material design. It's an icon pack. It's a theme, actually. It's, um, I think it's, it's probably my engine by Tongue 91. But, um, so let's, let's try that. Let's go into recovery mode and see if we can get some 
cache wiping going on. So for those of you that don't have root, ignore this right now because I'm rebooting. This phone is rooted and running CyanogenMod 11S as its stock ROM. So the thing to note is if you have a phone that is not rooted, go into stock recovery. You will have to look up how to do that because there are far too many phones with far too many and few buttons and combinations to get into recovery using them. If you have a custom ROM nowadays and it's KitKat, it probably has a reboot to recovery mode option in the reboot menu, which doesn't exist in stock Android. If you have most phones, will give you a stock recovery that is much more boring and useless as far as features go. So once you're in recovery, it will vary on how you get to it, but you might have to use your volume rocker to move up and down and your power button to select. So for me, this one's touch. I'm going to advanced wipe and I'm going to do the Dalvik cache and not the USB on the go and the cache. So what this does, the, uh, the cache is where apps expand into or it's where app data is installed, not installed, but it's it's stored while your phone is running. And then the Dalvik cache is where, and then once the caches are wiped, it may take two steps if you don't have Team Win Recovery, Project Recovery. Um, for Clockwork Mod, you'd have to go into um, wipe, wipe cache partition and then go into advanced and then click wipe Dalvik cache and then select yes and then go back and then reboot system. So we're just gonna reboot system here. but. The thing to note is the Dalvik cache is where apps expand when it, it's the virtual bin of expansion. It's where the apps actually, so when we see the Android is upgrading something of something total apps, that's the Dalvik cache after it's been wiped. When you get an official software update for your phone or you wipe your phone, it wipes the cache and the Dalvik cache. And I'm pretty sure the Android is upgrading progress thing is like right there. I'm almost 98% sure that this is the Dalvik cache being wiped, and this is the result of it. So it goes pretty quickly after you get some going, but this is starting all of the apps from their little APK files stored in the system and data partitions. So once this starts up, we will see if it fixes the issue, and if not, I will say at the beginning of this video, for those of you that haven't watched all the way through and just skipped to the end to see the ending, um, don't update. But as of right now, we can say it works on most phones. And if you don't need the update, wait for it to come out because it will. But if you're really impatient or you have a Nexus 5 and have the developer preview, you've already got it, then you probably won't want to install it on top of it because it's the same app. But, okay, we're almost done. Just eight more apps, nine more apps, nine more, not eight. Sorry, it's been a long day and I'm not exactly fully functioning mentally. So 77, 78, starting the apps. Let's get you massive phone in the screen. Let's let um, Wi-Fi actually connect because I want to show if it works. See if we can do some voice searching. Connect to Wi-Fi, please. Okay, fine. So, okay, that didn't fix it. So the Google search update is broken as of right now. <clears throat> If you're watching this, you know this, so if you can, uninstall the update. So if you, yeah, you will not want to install the updates just yet on all of your phones and tablets. Hold off on it, it will come working soon because Google's very good about updating their software to make sure it functions. Ooh, it didn't force close. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, maybe it didn't. Um, that's always fun. What's broken? Everything. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you guys here because I've talked your ears off enough. So if you want to, you can you can download those files, the uh, Google Search and the Google Now Launcher updates down in the description from Google Drive. If you have enjoyed this and you found this by chance and you're not already subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Um, just ignore that and sit down to the side. The, um, the developer preview is very, very interesting. The new one that came out today, and I've done a video on that. That will be linked over here. And if you came here from the developer video that linked over here in that video, then please go back and finish it. It's very, very interesting what Google has done for this new developer update because it's very different than you might expect for a Google Android L lollipop. 
uh, preview with material design. So anyway, I'm going to stop it here. I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comment section if you have any specific thoughts or concerns or if it keeps force closing, I'm not going to respond because I warned you. If you have any other specific issues that don't involve the force closing or the um, how to get into recovery mode, because those are easily searchable on Google, really. Um, give it a thumbs up if, it, if you liked it or you enjoyed knowing anything about what's broken, what's fixed, and what happens. Um, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.